You know, back in the day, I remember playing on uh, quite a few different uh, Team Fortress Classic servers. I should say back in the day being like 20, 10, 11. I didn't play this game when it first was released. Uh, I was only about a teenager when, like, you know, I was playing this, so... But there were still quite a few, like, people playing it at the time. It's not like today where, unfortunately, it's quite the dormant game, which is sad because it's, you know, it's pretty good. But I remember... Uh, custom maps made up about at least, I would say, 60% of the maps I would end up playing in map rotations. There weren't many official ones outside of 2-4 and, like, Dust Bowl. Um, but every once in a while, uh, I would see them, like, put in Half-Life Deathmatch maps. So the maps that were in Half-Life as Deathmatch maps, people would put into this game. And I don't know how it works, but apparently the default settings are Team Fortress Classic... When you have a map that doesn't really have anything set in it, like specifically for the game, it becomes a deathmatch. So team deathmatch, obviously, and it's always four player. So red, blue, green, and yellow would all ver like teams would all verse each other. Um, and I, I found that interesting because the thing is, they never actually like optimized like the maps. There's no ammo pickups or anything. Uh, you'd see med kits because the, I think they share the same med kit entity, and like you know between games and some other stuff. But generally, they're not optimized, but, you know, I would always remember people would end up playing, like, boot camp or something like that. So, and, like, you know, these are on pretty, like, populated servers, like, 30 people, so... And people weren't leaving. They would all stick around, and we'd frag for, like, 10 minutes. So, I don't know. I, I guess there's an appeal to that. Um, we're not looking at boot camp today. What we are looking at is Frenzy, which is a semi, um, coincidentally, or maybe not coincidentally, this is a almost symmetrical map. It's not because, as you see here, uh, you could go into the center here on this side, but not over here. But this is probably the closest um, uh, traditional Half-Life deathmatch map outside of maybe Bounce that, you know, works with the kind of symmetrical design that a lot of Team Fortress Classic maps go for. Which this doesn't utilize at all because, you know, you randomly spawn. The deathmatch spawns from Half-Life is where you spawn still. So that still works. Um, but, you know... I just figured we'd look at this one first, because why not? It's the smallest and, you know, least complicated. Um, I think this works. I'm going to take a quick peek before I play with any bots here. First of all, I might as well just see quickly. Is anyone playing this? No. Does not look like it. So there you go. Kind of proves my point. This game isn't very active, sadly. How many of those are bots, too? Oh, well. But yeah, um, I think there's an Easter egg, though, before I do anything real quick. I believe... Oh, yeah, there it is. This is Dario... Caselli, Dario Caselli, one of the Valve employees, uh, made this map, and that's a signature. If I pronounce his name wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's take a quick little peek here. Um, I always go medic. So yeah, as you can see here, I just spawned at one of the original like spawn points, but you know, there's no ammo. Obviously, the weapons from Half Life don't spawn because uh, I don't think those entities are set to work with ha like Team Fortress Classic. What I'm interested in knowing, this works. Yeah, that, that's working. I don't know if you can, uh, you know. I don't have, hmm. Let's test it. Yeah, that works still, so that's cool. Not much, but that that did in fact work. So yeah, that, that's pretty neat. Um, let, let, let's see what it's like playing it. I, I, I guarantee you this is going to be very mindless. As is any playing any of these Half-Life Deathmatch maps in a way like this is going to be very mindless. Like, this is a... You can't really play, like, you know, have much strategy because you're not spawning together. You're all spawning randomly. Uh, but I guess it is what it is. Let's take a peek at... Oh, hold on. I'm curious about one thing. That spawn, that's the long jump, uh... I didn't even... I was not even aware of that. That's the long jump module from Half-Life. Does that work in Team Fortress Classic here? Let's find out. I completely forgot that was up there. I used to play Half-Life Deathmatch quite a bit, but, uh... You know, just time, like, you know, things happen. Am I going to be able to do this? Um. It doesn't look like it's working. If I remember correctly, you crouch jump. But that is doing absolute nothing for us. Well, that's a shame. I wonder why it spawned, though. Maybe only certain classes can use it. I don't know. Double jumping? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to give up. Anyway, let's play some bots. Yeah, we'll go for about five or six minutes. Yeah, not, not too much. Like, there's not too much to see here, so... 
I'm still gonna be medic because reasons. I just like the medic. That's my favorite class. I suck at him, by the way, so... I'll let everyone spawn in. I should probably move because that was about to happen. And yeah, let's see how well this works with 30 people. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna see what deathmatch in this game is like. Um... Answer, very frantic. I guess that fits the name of the map here, but I don't think that's like, you know... Well, th well then again, in Half-Life itself, you could play with like 32 people like this. It would get kind of insane, so... I guess, you know, you could kind of work as a team, but like, if I mentioned no ammo pickups or anything like that, uh, you could drop ammo for your teammates if you, like, they are desperate. But I, I think you're not gonna really live long enough for that to be, like, you know, effective in any way. Also, I gotta move my... Yeah, my mouse pad's being a little goofy. Give it a second here. Maybe I just gotta put my... I almost wanna put my, um, sensitivity up, but, you know, usually I'm not going this nuts in this game. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is not at all designed for this mode in mind. But again, you know, it's weird because I, I did, I don't think I've ever seen this map in rotation, but I swear I saw, um, like, Boot Camp and uh, Crossfire. I, I played online with other people in Deathmatch like this. So someone likes it. And I've seen uh, custom uh, Deathmatch maps before. We played that one Space Wolf map. That's not a particularly well-designed one. But there you go, the interest is there. So, I don't know. Like, to each their own. I should be doing this. Let me start... Let me start affecting people. This might work better, yeah. I don't think there's a lot of medics right now. Eh. Oh, someone's in need of medical attention, but that's too bad. I don't know why you're playing engineer, bud. This isn't really the kind of place you could sit down and, like, you know, build stuff. Woe is you, I suppose. Like, it's it's fun for a bit. Like, I wouldn't want to play this for, like, 40 minutes, but for, like, 5 minutes? Yeah, let's just shoot them up. Why not, you know? It, maybe it's because, remember, the, like, the original Team Fortress was a... Uh, this is not actually the first Team Fortress. Uh, this came after they mod for Quake called Team, Quake Team Fortress, or actually just called Team Fortress. And, you know, that's built off of Quake, a very famous deathmatch game. So I think a lot of this initially survived off of that. Because, you know, like, you know, that was a very crazy, like, fast-paced FPS game. You, you know, and you're building, a, like, even if you're building a very team-based game off of that, you can't entirely escape it. Which they didn't, because there's, like, rocket jumping and, like, you know, all the crazy, like, bunny hopping and stuff from, like, Quake in there still, even in this version. And, that, like, that, this is supposed to be an update of that onto the Half-Life engine. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm doing a really good job at affecting people. I've gotten kills, though. I'm actually genuinely shocked that I'm killing anything. I suck at this game. I need to clarify right now that I'm not good at this game at all. I just really like it. I was better at one point. Like, I never got I, as, um, in-depth in this game as I did with TF2, which I played for hours when I was a teenager. But, um... I did put quite a few hours into this, well, like at least over a hundred. And, you know, I, I had some skill, not a lot, and most of it's gone now, but, you know. I would try to comp jump more, but I just don't know where I could even comp jump to without getting shot at immediately. You need some health, buddy? Oh, let's do it. Sniper class, a perfect, like, choice for this map right here. No doubt. You know, if I had the time, I'd almost be tempted to try to add, like, some, uh, like, health pickups. Maybe some team spawns. It would be interesting, but, you know, it's just unfortunately I don't have the time for that right now. Might work. Like, I don't know how much better it would make the experience, because this is still a little chaotic for, like, the kind of, like, you know, game this is, like, you know, this usually is. You can't use that! That's mine! Ha! Ah, I'll use it. I don't know if the bots know how to use it. Probably not. I'd be very surprised. Yeah, if I was gonna do that, like, you know... I'd rather go back and do boot camp, honestly. Boot camp is probably the best map of like the Half-Life maps brought into Team Fortress Classic. That one's probably the best, just because of the sheer size and you have some breathing space. So, oh, I think I just killed myself with my own grenade. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, let's. Yeah, come on, come on, engineer, build something good. I'll catch you. 
And yeah, that's it. Um, mindless fun for a few minutes. Probably not much longer, but you know, it is what it is. Oh well. <laughs>